In tonight with big developments on the baby formula shortage, the main supplier Abbott will start production once again after an agreement was reached with US officials. Thank you for joining us here tonight. I'm Carly Tinsley. Matt Renee are on assignment. Now, despite this move forward, it will be a while before formula is now on the shelves. And in the meantime, parents may be looking towards alternative ways to feed their babies, one of which is using a milk bank. Now, donating and sharing breast milk is encouraged by health officials, but when it is done the right way. In KEZI, 9 News reporter Grace Smith explains what parents need to know and what you can do if you'd like to become a donor. Forever, women have been sharing their milk. While the formula shortage continues, some parents are turning to breast milk banks for help. And while receiving breast milk may be a common practice, health officials are urging parents to get their milk screened before donating. They're tested for all sorts of um, hepatitis, uh, syphilis, you know, a variety of illnesses. Jana Langelier, the milk drop coordinator at Riverbend, says they've seen an increase in donors since the formula shortage. It's really easy drop off. We have have a little drive up. Um, we make the appointments with parents and we try to make it as easy and convenient as possible because it's such a blessing to have their milk donated to us. Once they get the milk, they ship it to get tested at Northwest Mother's Milk Bank in Portland. It's why she stresses getting milk from a trusted source like the bank. If you take your neighbor's milk, you don't know what she has or doesn't have. So all, all these moms are tested and approved. The milk is tested when it's once it's received up there and then it's pasteurized, which kills any bacteria or viruses. Health officials tell me donating and sharing your breast milk is beneficial, but can be risky. That's why they say it's more important than ever to get educated and know exactly what to look out for. As I'm told, there's been many recent horror stories. We've had milk brought to us and say, hey, does this look safe? No, it's filled that you can see dirt on the bottom. It has to be cleanly collected. Um, there's been uh, stories of milk diluted down. Kelly Sibley with the Oregon Health Authority says a big concern is parents ordering milk off the Internet. My biggest concern would be definitely safety with that because you really don't even know what is there. Right. I mean, and there have been cases of that milk being uh, contaminated. That's why she's encouraging parents to donate their milk to a bank so that you can not only help out other babies, but know you're doing it safely. They'll have a uh, free screening, so they'll actually undergo a, a, a easy blood test and have a little interview. Reporting in Springfield, Grace Smith, KEZI 9 News.